All right. I think they're called the the bugles. Uh, sheesh, I don't know, man. Let's go. What is going down, world? A welcome to the forty-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and today I'm checking out the Bugles. Video killed the radio star. Now this hook, uh, uh, video killed the radio star, has been referenced, has been remade, has been remaked and covered, but I've never heard the original. I've never heard the Bugles. Video killed the radio star. I remember a uh, Yellow Wolf did something about the internet killed the video star or something like that. It was a play off this concept and people have played with this title video killed the radio star. And, um, I get a finally chance to uh, uh, hear this joint, the original, I think this is the original, the bugles, you know, it's interesting because when I was young, there was some type of a chip. It was like a, in the shape of a bugle and they're called bugles and you ate them and people liked them. I didn't love them. They're kind of like corn chips in a bugle shape. But that's what this reminds me of off the top. Anyways, uh, let's get it started, you guys. If you're here for it, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's go. 40! 40-year-old book. Boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40-year-old book. Boys are back in town. Boys. For your ears. 40. All right, uh, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Uh, don't forget to support the original content on the channel. I'm a hip hop artist, so I put out music, music videos, I have music streaming on all digital platforms. But I also have a new uh, a channel, Pegasus vs. the World. Over there, I take on challenges, vlog style. I react to comedy, trending topics, and some travel. So if you want to help me build that channel up, that link will be in the description as well. Um, what else do we got? Uh, if you want access to these reactions early, um, we have a membership on this channel. It gives you that access, and we have a pretty big back catalog. So if you want to check that out, awesome. But, yo, regardless, thank you to all the members for your extra support. It means a lot. goes a long way, and let's do this. Okay, so this is the Bugles video killed the radio star. I'm going to bring it back. Now, I was just reacting a little Richard because it was from the 50s. It was super low. So I had to turn it up. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Um, that sounds pretty good for me. All right, let's go. I heard you on the wireless back in 52. Lying awake intently tuning in on you. If I was young, it didn't stop you coming through. This one is too good. This is so damn catchy. This is so damn catchy. It's remarkable. 
Now the whole hook, video kill the radio star. I don't know if I've heard that. This I don't know if I've heard this version now because it sounds so familiar. But I know for a fact I've heard people remake cover this because they said that. And it just feels so familiar. But everything else, I'm like, yo, this beat is fire. The, the, the delivery is fire. I like the dude's voice. And even at, after they do the video, kill the radio star. And he comes in and starts singing, doing his little thing. Bro, the video's crazy too. Ain't that the truth, man? Video killed the radio star. It's just talking about the transformation of radio hits, radio singles to the MTV era, damn near. That's what it's saying. And I felt like this was before even MTV because MTV, I felt like, hit its peaks in the 90s. That's what I felt like. I could be wrong. I mean, they started popping off in the 80s, but in the 90s, it was game over. Like MTV, you know, they're spending a million dollars on Hype William videos and launching people through the stratosphere. Um, so this is, could almost be prophetic too, like a prophecy type joint, like ahead of its time, because this is absolutely true. But Radio and video are kind of, you know, corporations control both and they kind of run simultaneously. So everything you saw on the TV was on the radio. So technically, video didn't kill the radio star, but people wanted to see videos. You had to have a video single. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe not. Maybe this just went over my head and I'm a doofus. Let's go. about where we oh my gosh this is incredible <laughs> Yo. if they only knew what was to come If they only knew what was to come, right? Because you had video overtaking radio, right? But then the internet changed the landscape. Think about how we consume videos. There's no musical television that we could watch. It's YouTube. All of us come to YouTube. That's why reactions are so big. Because there's no place just giving you music videos 24-7 anymore. Which is so crazy because that'd be so easy to do, right? Um, and maybe there is, and I'm just not aware of it, but, you know, that was the thing. And then, you know, LimeWire, downloading, because think about that. He said, blame the VCR. Before the VCR, there was Betamax, or they were, like, simultaneous. Then we went to DVD. Then we went to Blu-ray. Now we're just using flash drives and WAV files. Think about how, bro, this was the inception. This was the beginning. This was a message to y'all, like, what was to come? Video killed the radio star. Holy smokes, the bugles, and I ain't talking about the old school chips, man. I wonder, do they still have those chips? I try to eat healthy these days, somewhat healthy, so I wouldn't know, but I'm curious. Anyways, that was the bugles. This is my first time watching this music video, hearing the full song, uh, Video Killed the Radio Star. And I enjoyed that. Anyways, uh, let me know what I got, what I missed. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Bodhi. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F-U-Q.